Hello and welcome to 48 Detailing. My name is Zaya, and in today's video, the question that we're gonna answer is, are these holiday deals and specials a Christmas miracle, or are they the classic you get what you pay for scenario when it comes to paint protection film and ceramic coatings? That is the question we'll answer today. I really hope you enjoy. Let's jump straight into it. Welcome to 48 Detailing, one of the highest rated automotive detailing shops in Phoenix, Arizona. Specializing in everything from paint protection film, window tinting, and ceramic coatings. So make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. If you have any questions at all, throw them in the comments section below and we'd be more than happy to help out. Enjoy the rest of the video. So to my right, we have this Dodge 392 Charger, and to my left, we have a Tesla Model S Plaid that we just completed with our silver paint protection film package and also our gold five-year ceramic coating package as well. Now, this one right over here, this is not our work. <laughs> Let's just say that. Now, this is a perfect example of you kind of, you get what you pay for. There's a bunch of deals going on around right now during the holidays and specials and things like that. It's not just during the holidays. You really gotta ask yourself when you're paying for services like this, why is the company charging what they're charging? If you were making some calls and you get a consistent number of anywhere between $1,800, $2,000, $2, and $2,200, and all of a sudden you get a company that's charging you $1,400, $1,500, or even less, you gotta ask yourself the question, why? What quality materials are they using? Are the installers trained? Do they have experience on your type of vehicle? And overall, the reputation of the company itself are things that you have to keep in mind. Now, let me show you the close-up damage on this vehicle specifically that was caused because of an improper paint protection film installation. Now, this Dodge Charger received a full front application as well, or what you might consider a full front application. We have countless of issues on this vehicle specifically, everything from huge gaps with the PPF where it lines up with each one of the panels, improper seam lines, contamination collecting in the actual seams as well, things like not removing the side badges or markers to get that film underneath the badges to have a more seamless finish, contamination underneath the film, hair underneath the film, and of course, one of the most surprising, this application of film is only a few months old, and the film itself is already starting to show signs of wear and tear, oxidation, fading, pitting, whatever top coat that was on it is performing horribly as well. So these are all things that occur when you start cheaping out when it comes to things like the actual film quality, the installation itself, the amount of time spent on installation, the amount of time spent on prepping the actual pattern, extending edges, and just cheaping out in general on your purchase when it comes to services like these. Remember, if that price point is low, most likely all the price points associated with the material and the, and, the, and the hours spent and also the pay rate of the installer and the skill of the installer and the experience of the installer are gonna start dropping down as well. So it's kind of like a domino effect, guys. And I know it might sound super nice when you hear a much lower number for the same quote unquote service that you might be receiving for your vehicle, but in reality, it's not the same. And when we compare this installation to the one on the Tesla, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And I totally understand. We all are trying to save money, especially in the economy that we got going on today. It's imperative that we shop around, look for great prices at a good value. And that is the key word, value. You cannot sacrifice the quality of the install and the material that you're purchasing for specifically just the price. If you just focus on the price, you're gonna end up with something like this. So let me show you in detail exactly all the problems with this vehicle. So let's start with it being a pre-cut pattern that has not been customized. As you can see, there are huge quarter and sometimes even half an inch gaps between where the paint protection film ends and the actual end and edge of the panel, leaving those areas exposed to damage, chips, oxidation, and fading. So what's really the point of the paint protection film if it's not really protecting all the paint, right? So take note of that. And because of those exposed edges, it's been collecting a lot of contamination, which is also gonna cause lifting in the near future. And the contamination on this one is um, 
to say the least, bad. We already have some lifting areas on the bumper, collecting contamination because improperly lined up edges with the pattern, but we also have compound and polish residue for some odd reason, like they've polished over the film itself in the edge over here closest to the windshield. Now, this is all over the vehicle. Some areas are worse than others, but still, no excuse. This is not good for the car and a really poor install overall. Now, moving on from there, we're dealing with contamination underneath the film. We have a bunch of dirt, we got a bunch of dust. We also have hairs on some areas of the vehicle, like over here. And that is just an eyesore at the end of the day. Now, of course, there are limitations on what we can do as installers. We do live on planet Earth. There is dust, there's debris that's all around us on a daily basis. But at least here in our shop and any other quality institution or company, you're going to walk into the shop and realize that it's swept, it's mopped, it's cleaned. We have commercial air filtration units that we boost up when we're laying down our film to make sure that the air is filtered as good as possible. So we do everything we can to make sure we minimize the chance of contamination that gets underneath the film and also our experience. We have very good eyes as installers. If we do see contamination, we instantly are able to go ahead and remove it from underneath the film before we at, uh, officially tack down the material itself, making it a permanent thing on your vehicle or having us have to rip it off in the future to remove that contamination. But again, there's always a chance with paint protection film. It's paint protection film, not paint perfection film. So everything I say today, guys, there are only certain extents that we can take it to to get it as close to perfect as possible. There's limitations when it comes to the material itself. But again, what we see here is completely unacceptable when it comes to quality install, when it comes to contamination. Moving on to a couple other issues, you will notice that certain areas of the installation itself have some really poor cut lines, like they've extended the film or stretched the film too much, causing excess, especially over here by the fender flares, and then having them to go ahead and cut that material away, but the cut itself is not even with the panel either. So that's an eyesore as well, and also causes a potential risk of cutting into your paint. Now these are all things that if you go to a quality reputable company that they take note of and make sure to properly extend and line up and customize the pre-cut patterns so you don't necessarily have to take a knife to the paint. Now, there are areas of vehicles like side mirrors, hoods, and things like that that we do like to bulk or custom install because they give us better overall results. But with a fine-tuned hand and experience, that risk of cutting through your paint is very minimal to zero or none. So please take note of that as well. You don't want anybody with a knife cutting your paint protection film. It does take a trained hand and eye to make sure to apply the right amount of pressure on your film before making a cut into it. So cuts do happen, making, uh, Cuts do happen on the film to trim certain areas of the vehicle to get a better install and get more coverage for your vehicle, but you wanna make sure those cuts are being performed by a trained technician that knows what they're doing when it comes to an installation. The side mirrors are also an area that we noticed on this vehicle that were improperly done. You could see that they use just a standardized pre-cut pattern rather than custom installing and bulking these side mirrors. So that's gonna go ahead and leave this whole bottom section of the side mirror exposed to chips and scratches and damage in the future. Not only that, when you look at the side of the side mirror, you'll see that there's actually a flap of excess film that's collecting contamination. So they pretty much install this without doing a final inspection on it, leaving that excess on the side, which causes just a nasty overall look. Over time, the side piece throughout washing and drying the vehicle will start peeling off, and then also in result peeling off the rest of the film as well. Not only that, the actual lineup of the side mirror from top to the bottom is completely off, causing about a quarter of an inch gap where it starts and then closing itself off near the end, causing that excess film to hang off the edge. So you have exposed paint and then you have improper lines, improper alignment of the actual film itself, causing many issues with the side mirrors. Now to get into more of the intricate details of an installation, everything I just showed you was pretty easy to spot and see. Anybody can walk up to the vehicle and notice the contamination and polish buildup in the edges and the flapping film on the side mirror and all that stuff, right? But what I'm about to show you right now are the more 
intricate details that over here, 48 detailing, we prevent from happening to make sure you get a better install overall. Now, over here on the hood, this is a pretty difficult hood to do for the most part because you have these really um, deep negative concave surfaces. So the film does need some slight stretch. But if improperly done, using the improper solutions and methods, you end up with what you see on this vehicle specifically. You end up with adhesive stretch and stretch marks along these negatives of the vehicle. We notice a lot of this along the bumper as well because it's a pretty complex bumper. This is not an easy vehicle to do, guys. I want you guys to take note of that. But all of this can be prevented at the end of the day with a skilled technician that knows what he's doing in quality film. In the case of this one, it was improperly stretched using improper solutions to go ahead and apply the film, leaving behind a lot of stretch marks, and that just is an eyesore at the end of the day. Again, it's not very noticeable unless you really take a close look under certain lighting, but of course it's something here that we notice as detailers, as professional installers. If we can prevent it, we'll prevent it. That's the whole goal. We wanna make sure that the installation is as seamless as possible, almost like the film is not even there. That's the goal. Here is another area of cost cutting, the badges. Now these badges were not removed prior to installation. Essentially what they did was just place the film on top and make a cut around around the badge so you have an exposed seam line around the badge. Not only is that an eyesore as well, but that seam line is gonna collect dirt and grime over time and it's gonna be even more so visible over a period of time. The proper way of doing this was to remove these badges apply the film and then apply the fresh badges on top of the material itself so you have no seam line and it's a nice seamless finish. Now we do this on all vehicles here at 48 Detailing. Badges are removed from the sides, the hood, even your side cameras and side indicators are removed at times to make sure we get a better install and make sure that film is tucked underneath rather than sitting on top of whatever we're installing around. And the last and final point I want to make with this installation, I'll leave this poor thing alone afterwards. I know we've been talking a lot of negative stuff about you, sweetheart, but don't worry, it's almost over. We're going to make it pretty again, okay? Don't worry. We're going to take care of you. But the last point I want to make is the actual film quality itself. Again, this installation was only done a few months ago, and this film is already hammered, all right? Really, really it is. There is no form of hydrophobic action on the surface preventing contamination from bonding. And you still see, even after a thorough hand wash, even after a clay bar treatment, this film still has embedded contamination on the surface. And also underneath the film like we spoke about before, but that's a whole other story. But it is not doing what it's supposed to do to make sure this car is looking good and is protected. There's also signs of oxidation in this corner and in some other areas as well. And the film overall at this point is just failing even after a few months. Now we're gonna go ahead and test out the water beating ability and sadly there really is none. This water is just sticking onto the surface and not really going anywhere. As you can see when I pour a larger amount onto the vehicle itself, really doesn't have any hydrophobic actions whatsoever. So if there was a ceramic top coat on here, it is not performing at all, which means at the end of the day, this vehicle's front end is gonna be a lot more difficult to clean and not really provide you any protection from dirt, grime, bug guts, and things of that nature. So yes, it might be preventing chips and scratches from happening, but everything else is gonna be sticking to it causing eyesores and just making your life a whole lot more difficult. Not only that, the self-healing technology of the film itself is completely dissipated as well. When you do take a wire brush to this film and heat it up, it does absolutely nothing. It does not conform back to its original nature. And that is why you see so many scratches and swirls on the surface of this film itself. So I don't know what exact film they were using on this, but we can tell that it's a pretty low grade, low quality film. Hopefully they didn't prov promise the individual warranty because at this point it just all needs to be replaced and that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to be doing a redo on the full front application, do it the right way this time around for the customer and also we're going to be doing a full restoration of the rest of the paint and our five-year ceramic coating application as well. Now let's take a look at the Tesla Model S that we completed earlier today. Now this vehicle received again our silver full front package which is going to consist of your front bumper, headlights, fog lights, full hood, full fenders, your side mirrors and then also your A-pillars. 
And then we also did our five-year ceramic coating covering all the exterior surfaces, including the film itself. Now, just a little background on the material that we're using. We're using Steck Dino Shield. Now, we've used a lot of materials on the market, everything from SunTech, Lumar, Expel. Stex Dino Shield has looked the best, performed the best overall compared to the competition. There are plenty of videos on YouTube showing the actual comparison of all those materials I mentioned and how Steck comes out on top pretty much on all aspects of the material. Everything from anti-yellowing, puncture resistance, the actual gloss and shine of the film itself. There's a lot less texture and orange peel on stack. It looks exactly like paint compared to the others that I mentioned. And of course, the longevity and durability of that self-healing ceramic top coat technology performs far better than what I've mentioned previously and what we saw, as you can see, on the Dodge Charger that we spoke about a few moments ago. Now, let's talk about all the details. The first thing that you will notice or you won't notice are edges because we wrap our edges. We actually extend the pattern, we customize it to the vehicle's need, needs, excuse me, so those edges get tucked underneath the panel or on the side of the panel rather than being exposed on the top. First things first, it looks better. It looks like nothing is on the surface of the vehicle. And again, like I mentioned before, that is the whole goal. And secondly, it's going to prevent contamination getting underneath those edges, causing premature failure for the film. So not only does it look better, it keeps your film lasting longer as well. So things like the hood, the side mirrors, we actually custom install those to get the best finish possible. And then other areas like your fenders and bumpers and things of that nature, we customize the pattern on our systems to the vehicle that we're working on to make sure to extend the edges to get a nice seamless finish. The second thing that you won't notice on the Tesla is contamination. Like I spoke about before, we do everything that we can to prevent contamination getting underneath the film. You have a nice smooth finish along the Tesla. There is no contamination on this vehicle specifically. Again, there are limitations of what we can do living on planet Earth when it comes to contamination, but we have set expectations and standards here. If we see something and we notice it, we get to it before it becomes a problem. So that's one key takeaway. You really have to trust the people, the company that you're working with, and really take a look on their uh, take a look at their OCD levels and their own expectations. Look at the shop. Is it clean? Are the people working in the shop clean as well, well-dressed, well-groomed? These are all things that you need to take note of when it comes to providing your vehicle over to a company. You want to make sure that the people you're working with actually are passionate in what they do and have a real interest in their craft to make sure they get you the, over, uh, the, the best overall results for your installation. Another thing that you'll notice, the actual side cameras over here on the Model S, we actually extended the edges on the, on the pattern itself to make sure we have excess film to tuck underneath the camera. We do not have to remove this specific piece because we could extend those edges. Now, there are some vehicles where we remove side indicators and cameras because we don't have enough room to tuck that film in, but if we can minimize the risk of breaking a clip or something of that nature or damaging the vehicle, this is what we do. We extend those edges, tuck them underneath the camera itself so you have a nice seamless finish. You get the same exact results. These are little things that we take note of. There are vehicles that are a little bit more sensitive to take apart. And if we can minimize any possible chance of damaging the vehicle, we will do so. And that's exactly what we did here. We know that the clips on these Teslas are a bit sensitive. Yes, we have successfully removed them before, but of course, with anything, there's risk involved when it comes to removing pieces off a vehicle. And that is why when we do like full body applications and we have to remove moldings and side mirrors and door handles and things like that, that price of service actually skyrockets compared to doing something like a full front because we have to include at least a day to two days of teardown and putting the vehicle back together for you um, for a full body application. So those are things that you need to take note of as well. But as you can see, nice seamless finish around this um, side camera over here, giving you a better aesthetic look and making sure contamination does not get underneath, causing premature failure. The next thing I want to show you is a side mirror. I know we showed you the one on the Charger, so let's take a look at the one on the Tesla. Now, the difference between the Charger and the Tesla is we did a complete custom bulk install on the side mirror, meaning we took a large piece of film or material, wrapped it around the side mirror so we can get complete coverage on this high impact area and also the top section as well without having any tension relief seam lines down the mirror. 
Typically, if you're using a pre-cut pattern, they're gonna have seam lines to relieve the tension of these tight edges and things of that nature. For example, in the Tesla, you'll be seeing one right over here, but the way we go ahead and install this mirror, doing it the custom way that you see here, we avoid that seam line, still get you the complete coverage over here on the high impact area and the top section of the side mirror. So this film starts from this edge over here where a lot of those impacts are gonna be, um, are gonna come through and extends all the way through the side mirror and it's virtually invisible after the custom installation. So the last thing I wanna talk about, of course, is the film itself, the gloss, the shine. It looks amazing, right? This film is, is the best looking film on the market, period. Like I said, we've tried out a lot of them. This is the least amount of texture. It actually enhances the gloss and shine of the vehicle and doesn't subtract away from it. And sometimes with some paint systems on the market, it actually reduces the amount of texture that's in the paint system, leaving you a glossier, shinier finish. So that's a really awesome pro to the Steck Dino Shield that we offer here at 48 Detailing. Not only that, like I said before, the ceramic self-healing top coat on this performs amazing far better than what we've seen from other manufacturers and it lasts a lot longer too compared to other manufacturers as well. So keeping that in mind, we have a ceramic coat of this paint protection film that comes standard with our ceramic coating packages. So the rest of the vehicle is protected with our coating and enhanced with our um, coating. And we also go ahead and slap on that coating for the film as well. So you're probably asking yourself, well, Zaya, the film already has a ceramic top coat. Why do you need a ceramic coat? It? Well, it's only gonna further enhance the gloss and shine of the paint protection film. It's also gonna add another layer of protection and it's also gonna provide a little bit more slickness and self-cleaning ability to the film. So things like bug guts and things like that are even more, easy, more easier to clean compared to just a ceramic top coat that comes standard with the film. So with that in mind, let's see how the ceramic top coat reacts compared to what we saw on the charger. So as you can see, it beads up beautifully and the water just starts falling off the surface and even with a little bit of air, a little bit of blow, it comes off very easily as well. And you can see when a large amount of solution is poured onto the surface, it all kind of just falls away off the vehicle surface. So what this means for you, when it is time to wash this car, all that water, all that dirt and grime just rushes off the surf surface of the vehicle. When the rainfall starts pouring, all that dirt and grime that's on your surface is gonna start collecting in those beads and brushing off your vehicle as you start driving it. So there's a lot of benefits to this. It provides you self-cleaning abilities, keeps your car cleaner longer, makes it easier to clean. It's just an overall great experience and provides you peace of mind that your vehicle is protected and is much easier to clean when the time comes. Now I know exactly what you're gonna ask me. Zaya, we see the difference, we get it, but how much is this gonna cost me? Great question. And I'm really sorry to say it, it depends. Price depends on the type of vehicle that we're working with, the installation that we're providing, meaning the areas of coverage, the complexity of the vehicle. Those are the three main factors that are really gonna dictate the price for your vehicle in specific. Now, with that in mind, I will go ahead and provide you just at least a rough estimate on what numbers you'll expect for a quality install. Um, for a partial application, meaning your front bumper, headlights, 18 to 24 inches of your fenders, your hood, and then also your side mirrors, expect a range of anywhere between $800 to $1,200, depending on your market and also the company that you're going to and the material and warranty that they provide. For a full front application like we're seeing on the Tesla, and eh, not so much this, but for a quality install, for a full front application, you're gonna be looking anywhere between $1,900 to $2,500, again, depending on the complexity, size of the vehicle, and any other little additions that they have, like A-pillars and things of that nature. And as for a full body application for a quality install, expect to pay anywhere between $7,000 for a small vehicle, all the way up to twelve, thirteen, dollars sometimes even $14,000 for a full body application, again, depending on size and complexity of the vehicle. So it's a real ballpark estimate, guys. It's gonna depend on your market, the competition that's in the area, and also the quality of material install and the reputation of the company as well. So with that in mind, guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. I really hope you learned something new. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into this type of stuff. We wanna make sure that we provide as much education as possible so you have an understanding of what is behind the numbers that we put out there when we provide our consultations, estimates, and quotes. 
so you're not just blown away by the fact of a number. We wanna make sure you realize there is a value that's packed in the prices that we provide so you can get the best overall experience because we know what we charge and we don't have any leeway to cut corners, all right? Um, so it's something that we keep in mind at all times. We wanna give you the best possible results and the best possible customer experience. And as a business owner, and also knowing many other business owners and seeing other businesses op and how they operate. Um, when you are not charging enough, you know that your business will suffer and that is where corners are gonna be cut at the end of the day. Because if you are not making enough as a business and not keeping a roof over your employees' heads and not paying your employees enough, um, things start to go downhill. Quality, results, the material quality you start cutting costs on as well, maybe jumping to a lower quality material so you can make a better margin. These are all things you gotta take note of, right? And that's what we do as business owners. Um, but we also have to understand as consumers that it affects you at the end of the day. So that's why I like to put this stuff out there. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you again. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact myself or one of my customer service representatives over the phone, over the email, or on our social media channels, and we're more than happy to help you out with your needs. Thanks again. Have a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, and we'll talk to you soon.